guys and thank you so much for tuning in my name is joyce and i talk about canada immigration in case you're new here you're welcome please consider subscribing like this video and share to all your whatsapp groups to your facebook whatever you want to share so now uh the other day we just talked about uh, electricians if you're an electrician and you have not watched my previous video please make sure you watch because you learn a lot on how you can come to Canada as an electrician. On this video, today we are going to be talking on how plumbers can come to Canada. I'd say that I'll be dealing with the, you know, individual groups because some people feel like I have left them out, I've not done a video on how they can come to Canada. So I, I said I'll be doing individual videos. Today we'll be talking, I will be bringing plumbers to Canada. Yes, it is possible for plumbers to come to Canada. Now, plumbers will fall under a class called trades. It's federal skilled uh, trades program under express entry. So uh, those are going to be the, the, the plumbers. That's how they are going to uh, be categorized. And these plumbers need to have a license to practice in Canada. But I'm going to take you through the, you know, the entire process on how the plumbers can actually come to Canada and start practicing. So the first step that you need to do, just like the electricians, is that you need to create a profile with the express entry. If you haven't watched my video for express entry, please watch so that you understand how to open a profile for express entry. And I'll tag that video on the description of this video. Now, once you open, um, once you open a, a profile for express entry, first of all, you need to qualify. What do you need to qualify? For plumbers, you actually don't need any formal education. But they say that the more you're educated, the better. So if you have got education, qualifications, or any high school qualifications, high school at least is basic. But what they need most is that to prove that you have got skills, either you do a, a small video to employer, to show that you can actually work as a plumber doing a skilled job, maybe we un unplugging a toilet or a sewage. Just show them what you can do as a plumber to your employer when we get to the stage of applying for jobs. Those trade jobs, they work so well when you provide them with a video, a, sh a very short video just showing uh, to them what you, what you can do as a plumber. Because how else would, a, with a, would an employer in Canada, understand how well you're skilled in your trades unless you provide them with a short video. Just like the, the truck drivers, I keep telling them you have to give us at least four, four videos showing us the maneuvers that you can do for the truck. Now, for this one, for plumbers, um, what you need to do is that you need to have at least work experience of two years in plumbing in the last five years. So if you had worked as a plumber five years ago, before five years ago, you don't qualify. It has to be two years in the last five years. Then you must have a valid full-time job offer in case you're applying under some of the uh, skills that I'll be showing, some of the provinces that I'll be talking about. A full-time job uh, with a minimum contract of one year or a certificate of qualification as a plumber from a Canadian province, territory, or federal authority, just in case you come here as a student. Then you have to pro provide them language ability, prove to them that you can speak English or French with a CLB of at least four. Other qualifications include, you are, there is no education that is required, but at least you need to, pro to prove to them that uh, you are not in the, any criminal records in your country and you must be in good health. You must also, be having legal status in your home country. Now, the other additional factors that may be required as required by for you to, to, in, to improve your, because what is what they're going to do to assess you, they're going to use something called CRS core, comprehensive ranking system. So the more provisions that you give them, the better. They're going to boost your CRS core. Now, you'll be entered into the express entry pool for which, uh, you know, the other applicants also come there to post their applications. Then the best course will be selected every two times in a month. 
that's how the draws are done every two months in two times in a month then if you want to increase your chances of uh, getting selected from that pool because once you send your once you open a profile you in, you 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 wait now whether you'll be selected the way to increase your chances of uh, being selected or the way to increase your chances of them sending you an invitation to apply for permanent residency is that uh, you need to you need to open another profile in the provinces so that the provinces for example if you if you open a profile in ontario ontario will come checking in the express entry and if they find that you had ticked them as in you had selected them they definitely want somebody who has selected them they'll not want people that have not selected them provinces that are high demand of plumbers include ontario british columbia new brunswick yukon and atlantic provinces okay now um the way you apply through these provinces is the same way as you did during your express entry profile opening so what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the provinces for example if you go to ontario they have a program that uh, has a, a class of plumber it's called a uh, regional immigration pilot if you go to british columbia you will find it under occupation in the mud stream if you go in new brunswick you'll find it under skilled worker stream if you go in yukon you'll find it under critical impact worker category and if you go to atlantic you will have to have a job offer now once you go to these provinces profiles uh, i mean websites you open a, a profile with them and then if if you qualify they will always give you a nomination some provinces like the atlantic provinces they you must have a job offer and the job offer we said it has to be a full-time job and permanent if if you have a full because nobody wants to take you and then you you leave their provinces that's why they're insisting that the job has to be permanent job with your employer so once they give you a nomination an invitation to apply they give you 600 points and then you can apply for you can finish your permanent resident application okay basically these are the steps uh for plumber if you're not already a certified plumber from your home country i urge you that you come to canada as an international student go to community colleges there are so many communities colleges make sure these community colleges are in these provinces that we have talked about there are four atlantic provinces ontario new um, um, british columbia yukon and, uh, and the atlantic provinces make sure that your community college you can also try manitoba make sure that your your community college is in one of the one of those uh provinces um you can also if you want to know how you can come as a student you can also check my other channel for joyce k canada study abroad it's a youtube channel that you can also check it will on the it will be on the description you'll find a way I mean, steps on how you can do your application to come and study in Canada. Now, once you come here as an international student to study plumbing, it, you have to take a course at least of one year, around 1,500 hours of practical work with eight weeks blocks of technical training per year for four. Um, and then you'll have to practice for four years before writing your final exam. Plumbing is very intensive. You'll get paid during this time around 50 percent of what a qualified plumber earns so even after you finish this one year training they'll need you to practice before you do the main main exam to have your license okay uh i said permanent residency will be easily attained in the provinces where this career is in demand that is all about plumbers unless you have a question you can ask on the comments uh i'll be glad to respond so I wish you all the best, the plumbers, go ahead and do. Of course, I said you have to do IX and get four and then send your high school diploma and whatever else you have in plumbing to WES and then get a report from WES together with your IELTS, upload them in the profile. Uh, that's all you need. 
and i wish you all the best see you in the next video please if you know any plumber send them this video any plumber who has at least high school and who can who can manage to do is and get at least a four send them this video uh, bye thank you